What's up, G Show Land, and welcome to another episode of the G Show Podcast. I am G1, and this is the Geek Out, the Predator Review. Now, it's been a while since we've been on air. I think Comic Con was the last time we spoke, um, uh, but, you know, work came back, everything started, good. life, life came back, and the time has just not been there. But this weekend is time, and this weekend I got, once again, back on the G-Show, my right hand, G95 Matt, my brother, what's up? Hey, glad to be back. Yeah, seriously, I'm sorry, it's been a very long time since we uh, last spoke, and I think we had a conversation off-air about Star Wars that I never uploaded, because, nice. yeah, because I'm a, because I'm a jerk, I'm a jerk, um, but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about what we're here to talk about, and that is Shane Black's new movie, The Predator, which just came, which just came out this weekend, um, this past Friday. And uh, just before we get into it, um, I guess this is going to be a spoiler review. I could be honest with you, really not much to spoil because really nothing happens. But uh, we're gonna go spoilers in this review. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, even though there's nothing to be spoiled, go watch the movie, come back, listen to this podcast, and then uh, see if you agree with us or not. That out of the way, let's get right into it. Hit the music. We're going on a hunt to kill Gorilla Shy Spider. Our ritual with the skin, some special forces fighters. Rolling in hard because we're armed to the teeth. Can't see me, I'm invisible, dancing to the beat. Knock, knock, get down. Listen to the sound of the chopper going boom, make you drop to the ground. Those guys are really pray. Think I'll go ahead and play. Collect all the skills and prove that I can play. There's a hole in Jesse Ventura's chest. Don't know, is it a beast or just cardiac arrest? Mark is blasting into a minigun fest. Let's follow his lead and destroy the forest. Hell, motherfucker, you shot me. You should let me know you wanna party. I blow my head for dealing to bed. sweet that was predator the musical from Luini. damn i hope i said that right let's go um do you want to go first or i go first who goes first you want to go first uh i'll let you go first really okay all right shane <laughs> shane black's the predator a very most anticipated movie in certain geek circles um i was Really anticipating this movie, even though for whatever reason, when we were doing our most anticipated movies of 2018, this one kept falling off the radar. Uh, but finally, it's out. September 14th, it dropped. Uh, but before it dropped, the trailers, of course, were dropping. And I gotta be honest, I was looking at the trailers, and I was like, alright, hold your breath. Just just take it easy. Don't go crazy. Nothing, Nothing to see here just yet. And then that final trailer dropped, the final Red Band trailer dropped about a couple weeks ago. And I said to myself, don't even watch it. Don't look at it. Do not do it. Stay away from it. And then online, all of the uh, the reviews on this trailer, like uh, the, the reactions were all positive. Like, oh my God, this trailer is just insane, bad shit, crazy. And I said, oh, fuck it. What the hell? Let me watch it. I watched it. And I could be honest. I was like, no, <laughs> no. I didn't know what the hell people were talking about. I was like... Oh, this don't look good at all. So that being said, I and then the reviews. I mean, that then the reviews started coming out, and it was just like across the board bad. And I was like, you know what? I'm not paying for this shit. I'm not. I'm not paying for it. So I told my brother. I said, listen, man, because he was like, yo, we're gonna go see it, right? I was like, I tell you what, you get this one, I'll get the next one. Whatever, whatever comes out next, which I think is uh, we're gonna go see Transformers the movie, the 1986 animated movie, at the end of this month, which I can't wait for. So I got him on that. So I said, John, you paid for this one. 
So we did. He bought the tickets and sure, sure. I was like, all right, now nah, I'll go because I don't have to pay for this shit that I'm really worried about. And man, I'll tell you, I fucking loved it. <laughs> I really fucking loved it. I swear to God, maybe it's because I didn't pay for it. Maybe it was the uh, the Cheetos popcorn I had. Maybe it was the large cherry coke. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you this. I freaking loved it. And I don't mean like it was one of the best movies I've seen this year. Nowhere near it. But like last year or two years ago, I don't remember when it dropped, but when Independence Day Resurgence came out, this is how I felt. I felt the same way then that I do now. And that's that's because it was, I don't know, man. I just, I had a blast. This movie pretty much was like a fuck you. That, that's how I felt. I was like, Shane Black said, fuck it. We're just going to go crazy balls to the wall. And he let it all out. I mean, like, from the cast of characters, uh, being insanely vulgar, the fucking, like, the humor, the crude and rude, absolutely offensive humor in some of these parts of this movie, the violence and gore, everything just worked for me. Everything just worked for me. And yes, it's a doofy, messy plot. And yes, how the hell did Olivia Munn become Rambo all of a sudden? I get all that, I, but none of that bothered me. This movie really took me into, I don't know, like like happy zone. Like I I I, I kept laughing the entire movie. I was smiling from ear to ear, just because how bad shit fucking crazy this movie was. And, and yeah, and I'm gonna curse because you know what? That's this is an R-rated review. The way it was an R-rated movie, and damn it, it was an R-rated movie. Hard R, hysterical. Yeah. I really, 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 really dug it, bro. I really dug it. I mean, I, I want to see what you have to say. I, but I'll tell you, man. I, I had, I had, I had more fun with it than I, I think I had any business having. Well, I don't know. I don't know. This, this kind of, you kind of killed my buzz a little bit because I fucking hated the movie. Woo! And you acknowledge that it's a a bad movie. So I, I'm not going to have any fun like going back and forth with you about why it's a bad movie. And you're going to be like, no, but this is why it was good. Um, you already know it's bad. It's so, bad. It's um, bad. <laughs> yeah, it, I didn't like it. I was really excited for it. I thought the trailers the, I watched the first two trailers. I didn't watch the red band one. Right. Um, I watched the trailers thought like, wow, this looks not great, but I'm just going to chalk it up to it's a bad trailer. Um, <laughs> Then, uh, you know, a review, like I was hearing leaked stuff about the script from a YouTuber I like, and, you know, he, he was saying, you know, these things about it and how it was a mess of a story and all that, and um, <clears throat> just from insider stuff that he'd, he'd gotten, um, I was like, ah, whatever. Right. He's, you might be wrong. You know, it, it might not turn out that way. You know, there's... The script is very rarely what, you know, like, the script and the final product are almost always two different things. Um, so then he, come, like, he saw an advanced screening, and he was like, it's really good. It's like, I loved it up until a point. It, that ruined the movie for me. And I was like, oh, shit. So, but I, you know, stopped listening to his review because I didn't want spoilers. I wanted to go in. I, I watched it and I was like, I can kind of see where you, where he's coming from. This is like, it's like kind of cool. And I was like, Oh, Oh, here's the dumb part. And the dumb part was like right away in the movie. And I was like, it, it, maybe he just misspoke and maybe, you know, this is, uh, but yeah, I, I didn't like the movie. I didn't like it all. It, uh, there, there was some cool stuff. Can't deny that, but, it's like, this is, what, the fifth, sixth or something pr uh, live-action Predator appearance in a movie. Um, you'd think all, like, five other times they would have learned from all the mistakes that the sequels made. And it just, this one just played right into those. It, it, was, it was no different than some of the lousy choices that were in Alien vs. Predator and Predators. Um, it was just messy. It didn't feel like a Predator movie to me. Well, that, that's exactly what my friend said. Who woke me up while I was actually kind of up before 20 in the morning. He's 
blowing up my phone to talk Predator. And he's in New York and I'm in Vegas. And yet I was up. I was laying in bed. But I think he said the same thing. It did not feel like a Predator movie. Which I kind of disagree with. I'll be honest. I, I don't know. I You brought up... So you brought up... Uh, Independence Day Resurgence, and as you were giving your whole spiel about that, I was like sitting here smiling to myself because this movie has the same fucking ending as Independence Day Resurgence. <laughs> That's why it's so good, right? Come on, I'll tell it you. It has the same ending. <laughs> like, I don't want to ju- jump the gun here and get too ahead of ourselves, in right? The, um, and but, just like go straight into the ending. But it was a cock movie. tease end. Yeah, uh, but it has the, ex- like, the entire third act is the same to me. It's, like, the same. The same um, as what? Independence Day? Yeah. Yeah, I could kind of see that. Just very, uh, <laughs> just, uh, just a little bit more hard R and bloody and violent. The movie was well fallen apart by that point. I uh, I just hated all of their decisions. I the, you- the idea of... Uh, wait, before you go... I want to know from the beginning. You said very early on in the movie it started to fall apart. Wh- what are you talking about? I want to know what are you talking about? Because we go full, full tilt spoilers here. So what are you talking about? Because um, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to come at you. You know I'm coming at you. There's not even a, there's not yeah. even a, a doubt. Um, Probably the part... Uh, sorry, my cat's meowing in the background. That's because um, the cat loves me. <sighs> There was just, like, off things here and there uh, about it, but as soon as the Predator dogs showed up, I was like, nah, I'm good. And it was, I don't really, you know, it, we've already seen the hunting dogs thing before. Yeah. We've already seen the super Predator thing before. Yeah. This, is a very, this is a very unoriginal movie. Um and then they, like, lobotomize the dog by shooting it in the head accidentally. <laughs> and then it becomes their loyal puppy friend. Dude, it was so and, fucking like, awesome. Right, this is a little bit much. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, this is one of the things I loved about it. Because it's batshit crazy. Now, but, yeah. But there's things all over through the, through the movie that just don't make sense. So, um... You know, Predator ship crashes right away, and then, you know, um, dude, fe- Quinn McKenna, was that it? Yeah, McKenna. McKenna McKenna finds, like, the mask and the, the wrist gauntlet and stuff, and he finds, like, the little metal marble, and he just decides to swallow that, because that's, you know, totally going to be a sh- safe, sure thing. And then that that little marble thing is, I guess, the key to the Predator's in- cloaking tech? Yeah, apparently so. And so now he can, like, now that it's inside him, he can just, he, he can just, like, make himself invisible at That's will. not how that worked. That's not how that worked. That's not how that worked. He went, he presses a button and he was invisible. He swallowed it after he gave the the guy the package to deliver. He put, right. put it in his thing and he, right. he drank it. But still, it. a marble being the, the key to the Predator's cloaking tech is dumb. Now, I'll be honest with you. That, <laughs> no pun intended. That, that was a pretty big ball to swallow, bro. I mean, like, that thing was gigantic. Yeah. And it's alien tech. I mean, space titanium, anybody? I'm just saying. But, um, listen, I I will give... I concede the dogs because I, I didn't like the dogs. I, did, I thought they did not need the dogs... And they gave the dogs little dr- mini dreadlocks, too. It was so dumb. Yeah, I know. I know. But they kind of... They, remember they tried to explain it, even though it was, like, just theorizing when she was like, I don't know, maybe it's, like, uh, sensors. It's kind of like antennas on roaches, but dreadlocks, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, that they decorate, because they decorate their, their tech, apparently. Dude, you know how it is, bro. You you you, you put... Uh, uh, Killmonger put scars on his body, you know what I mean? Like... Tribes, they'll, they'll they'll notch a little, uh, they'll cut a little notch in their spear for every cow. I don't know. They're they they're predators. No, they're not. They're hunters. That was that was another thing I loved too. That they were making they're, fun so of the see. fucking titles. <laughs> oh god! I can see that. Um, so the humor, some of the humor was pretty good. Some of it fell flat on its ass. Oh, it was just straight up not funny. Um, oh boy, I want to know where you go, but we'll get to that because no, it's it's not it's not that it's not the offensive stuff. I oh, okay. that. That was that was fine. I don't care about that. It's just some of the jokes were not funny. 
Um, the, the, the just half-assed callbacks were terrible too. Oh, come on. Like, Get to the so top. Is, are you kidding me? That was classic. He just like casually just says it like just out of nowhere. And it makes no, like, it doesn't work. It does work. There was a bunch of motorcycles there. Get to the choppers. That was funny. <laughs> that was not funny. Oh, dude, I cracked up so hard. And then, and then Olivia Munn saying like, "Oh, you, you were one beautiful motherfucker." Like, fuck that. Yeah, no, I, I can see that one. I rolled my eyes so hard in the back of my head, they fell out my mouth like Beetlejuice. I agree. That was terrible. That was terrible. I, don't know. I didn't like the design of. Either predator, like the the traitor predator's mask looked, it looked bad. His head looked too big. Like I, they have big heads, but his head looked exceptionally large. The upgrade predator looked particularly shitty. Two CG. Um, the the CGI CG. looked really bad. Yeah, it wasn't that good. That wasn't that good. I love the concept, but I didn't like the execution. I I don't I don't like the concept. They're supposed to be the best. Hunters in the galaxy and pride themselves on that, so they're gonna they're gonna try to soup themselves up. That doesn't get, and that's one of those doesn't drive with me. I, I, that's one of those things that I was like, I guess so because it was like take over the planet, become one with the planet. They're gonna be the next dominant species on the planet. They gotta kind of factor in because I was kind of bugging out with the whole human DNA thing. I'm like, no, 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 let's not do this. This is no. But then when they were explaining how it was actually the predators who were doing the experiments on other predators, I was like, yeah, I guess so. The whole thing with they take trophies, but they use the spinal juice. I kind of dug that. I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? I I don't like it. Oh, man, I did. I was like, yeah. It kind of fucks with the cannon a little bit. It doesn't touch the cannon. Sure it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't touch the cannon at all. It's, it does not ruin anything. It is not like The Last Jedi. It is not like uh, Terminator 3. It's just it's just giant leaps and bounds in the in the cannon that don't really make sense. Oh. Like, I, I guess you could... Okay, I, I guess they're going to harvest the spinal fluid, but why are they going after humans? A, a fucking hippo is going to put up a better fight and make you a better hunter than fighting a human. No, because humans are smarter. That's the whole reason for the pr- the, the hunt. You know, that's the, you can hunt a hippo, but that's easy to kill. They they want the challenge. They want the challenge yeah, of the hunt. So I, I get that. And then the tr- to to kill a giant two ton herbivore that's going to come at you that kills like several hundred people a year, something like that. Yeah, but those people aren't like trained people. You know what I'm saying? Like those are just like. People who are just so unfortunate souls. But that, like, the, the predators, or the Yauta, whatever you want to call them, they, the, the whole thing, and this is what I kind of dug with it, is they go after the kill, uh, the, the kills that are worthy. They, they And they even did it in this one. McKenna is the one that's going to lead you. He's a worthy opponent. I'm giving you some time. Boom, right? That, the same thing could be said with Dutch. The same thing could be said with Danny Glover. The same thing could be said with everybody that was in Predators because they took them all, you know, and dropped them on that planet. It's about that hunt. You get that You get that hunt. You get that kill. Now, when it comes down to the Xenomorphs, which is why I'm kind of glad that, you know, that ADP shit is nixed because I hate those movies. Um, when it comes down to the Xenomorph, that's just like for... I think that's more like for sport. That's just the home skills or... Uh, uh, like like a like a bar mitzvah type of thing. Like a now you become a man. You know what I mean? Like that now you're a worthy hunter type of deal. But like with the humans and the hunting, and then the, they, of course you get the trophies. But then they also use in the spinal fluid. For I kind of dug that. Kind of dug that genetically splicing with the best of humanity in their eyes. You know what I mean? As opposed to yeah, let's just take down a hippo and and, and become like. You know, a new Spider-Man villain. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, I still, I still think it's just terrible. I think it's, I think it's lame. I think it was, it was this like open-ended kind of thing in the movies. Like, okay, they they take the they take the spines and they take the the skull 
And Shane Black was like, oh, well, they must be doing something with the spines, right? No, no, they're just part of the fucking trophy. Just leave it alone. Um, not to not to mention the whole, um, like, just global warming thing they, they touched on. That, I audibly groaned in the theater at that point. Just like, oh, they're, they're coming here to terraform the planet, and, you know, like, global warming is, like, going to get rid of the... We're gonna go extinct in one or two generations, maybe even one. It was like your you know, grandkids are it. That's the end. It's your grandchildren and the end of the world. That's that's not how <laughs> the climate change works. <laughs> I loved it. Oh no, I just thought it was hysterical. It's again, again, like I said at the top, it felt to me like Shane Black just saying "fuck it, let's just go batshit crazy and just throw anything and everything into this movie." And it and it did. They did that. They it really seemed like they did just that. This is going to be fun because again, we we're, we're, we're definitely on the opposite here. Um, and I totally understand where your grievances comes from. I haven't like for the for the Predator series as much as I love it because I do. I love that. I love that franchise. But I guess because I was scared of this movie failing, becoming like Alien Covenant, that I was like, uh, groaning and moaning. But then once the humor kicked in, and then once it was like, okay, this isn't, this isn't going to be just like, okay, R-rated humor. This is going to be like fucked up R-rated humor. Real effect. That's when I started to like, okay, wait a minute. I started laughing more. The gore. Come on. You can't even, it, the gore was good in this movie. Like the, these predators will fucking shit up. It was good when you could see it, but the editing is so choppy and the movie is so dark itself that I felt like I was watching AVPR half the time. Ah, oh, man, I didn't get that at all, actually, man. I, I actually saw everything. Everything going the on. was terrible. Following. And the movie was so fucking dark. See, and I didn't... What was going on. See, that's weird, because I remember when I saw AV, AVPR in theaters, I said that. I was like, why is this movie so dark? Can't see a damn thing. And then when I got when I watched it at home... I was like, all right, maybe it was just the theater. And no, was, the movies just shot dark. I never had that problem one time yesterday. I'll be honest with you. I did not have that problem one time yesterday. I saw everything like crystal clear. And we were watching it in a small theater too. It wasn't even like a nice big theater. It was like a, it was the, the smallest theater in that particular movie theater I went to. It was like the smallest screen. Hmm, well, but, I, I saw it on the largest screen. Uh-huh. And- you couldn't see what was happening. The The editing is so choppy. You know they reshot like half the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's why it's such a fucking mess. There was, you know, Edward James almost was supposed to be in it. He was supposed to lead a team of predators that were, were allied with humans, and he was trying to recruit the traitor. Yeah. Was, they, they reshot like half the movie. They changed like everything so it could be the exact same as Independence Day Resurgence. Yeah, they turned it into a comedy. They turned this movie this movie is more comedy than it is sci-fi horror. Or sci-fi action horror. It's 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 a comedy. And I I like again, I I really enjoyed where it went. I it, uh, not where it went because we're going to get to that ending. We're going to get to that ending. But I enjoyed what it did. It to me it didn't mess up the lore. I I, I, I am agreeing with you. I didn't like the do- the dogs. When they lobotomized the dog with that one bullet to the brain, I found that funny that he became now their like their Scooby. I, I I did. I was just like, okay, this dog is gonna be everywhere now. Did that dog even die at the end? I think that predator just chucked it to the side. I, don't, I have no idea. Then I was like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I had no idea. Like <laughs> the 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 main bad guy. I I don't remember his name. The the black dude that was wearing like the leather jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, don't remember his name. He was like the quote unquote villain of the movie, I guess, even though he was like the most likable character. Um, <laughs> he dies in the background. He died. Dude, I swear to God, I turned to my brother. I said, wait, did he just die? I thought he shot Olivia Munn. I thought, I thought he blew her head off. And I was, I, I was ready to go crazy. Like, oh shit, they really went crazy. But it was him, and I was like, how did that even happen? And my brother was like, he turned his head, and then the thing went off. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and, 
it, like so he dies like unceremoniously um like half of the loonies die and you don't even quite realize it like i have no fucking idea what happened to the irish dude he just he was just gone no just the gone. predator came he shot his arm off and then he choked him out mm, i couldn't even tell that was him oh you see, damn dude your data must have been dark then you know? because again i i seen all that was, no, it's not that. It's just he looks like he was dressed like every other basic white soldier that was there. There was nothing special about him. And he died pretty just standardly. Nobody made a big deal about it. Nobody even missed him. Well, I sure as heck didn't miss him until I walked out. I'm like, oh, yeah, what happened to that dude? Yeah, but you got to remember, too. You got to remember, too. I think the only ones that actually cared about each other was um um. This dude, uh, was it, is it Peel or, yeah, it's Peel, right? Key and no, Peel? it's Egan Michael Key. All right, it's Key. Yeah, All right, Thomas Key Jane. and Thomas Jane. Th- those are the only two that actually cared for each other. Everybody else didn't give a fuck. I mean, they were, yeah, they were in one, they were in the Looney Squad or whatever, but they couldn't give a two shits about anything. The only relationship I seen blossom in that movie was uh, Nebraska and the boy. You know what I mean? That was like the only relationship I actually seen Bud. In that movie, because not even the bra- not even um, the boy's father in him, like, okay, he's their father, some, but he's a he's a soldier. His head is in a different place. The kid has um, uh, autism, which is I'm telling you right now. I'm got, I'm, I'm I'm I don't I'm telling you right now. I think a lot of people is gonna be mad. It's gonna be a lot of them social justice warriors, but they make fun of that kid with autism in this movie. And I thought that was, that's why I was like, this is offensive as shit. And I couldn't stop laughing. And I, maybe it makes me a shitty person in some of y'all eyes. It's what it is. But I, dude, that's one of those things where I was like, oh my God, they, they just go for it. They don't give a shit. And it's a, and not to mention, it's a little, it's a fucking little boy. It's a little kid. And they just like, I think at one point in the movie, uh, one of them says, oh, yeah, your kid's retarded or something like that. And I was like, holy fuck, did they just say that? And uh, I, I mean, but I, I, I oh, man, see shit like that. that I was like, OK, they they really push the envelope. There's a lot of people in this world today that they're so they get offended by any little thing, any little thing. And that's what I appreciated with this movie. It was like, oh, fuck that. Fuck it, throw it in there. Say that line. Fuck it, add it. Do something stupid. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna leave it in there. And maybe it's because it was a mess of a script, and they had to reshoot everything, and it was just like, oh, we're on a fucking deadline. Let's just do something stupid. Maybe, right? For me, it worked. The humor landed. I was cracking up hysterically. I like corny bad jokes. I do. So I was laughing at a lot of it. Not all of it, but a lot. Like the majority of it. Oh. But the humor shouldn't be the saving grace of the movie. And it wasn't for me, though. It wasn't. I was cracking up and I was loving the humor. I was. But I really did dig the violence and the predator. You know, I, I dug all that stuff. I dug all of it. And yes, this plot is a fucking mess. No doubt about it. But I dug it. It was just like, it was a, it was a beautiful train wreck. It was a beautiful train wreck. It was like, man, this thing, ooh. Look at this slow mo train wreck right here. Like it hit, it, it it pretty much ticked off every box I needed it to tick off, and it wasn't a lot because again I went into this movie with really low expectations, like extremely low, and I guess that's why I liked it so much more. That's why I'm probably more animate about it because I didn't go in there looking for something like Predators, which I thoroughly enjoy, or Predator Two, which I unabashedly love, and I definitely wasn't going in there looking for Predator One. That, that that never in my mind, right? But all I, I told my brother before we went into the theater, I said, all this needs to do is be better than those AVP movies. And it was. <laughs> and it was. And I was like, I was happy. I was satisfied. It, it, it was just, it was so... I'll put it like this. I, I talked to my boy earlier today. I saw Black Klansman, right? In, uh, when it came out. That's a deep movie. That's a hard movie to watch. Like, that, that one hit. And it's it's offensive. You're like people will be offended by it, right? But it's like a socially aware offensiveness. You know what I'm saying? Whereas this was just offensive to be offensive. And you know what? I kind of dig that shit. You need that type of shot in the fucking arm sometimes. You do. And and it and it gave it to me in a franchise that I respect. 
So it was like, well, fuck. Okay, now, let me ask you this question after I just ranted and raved. Do you think this is the uh, the death knell for this franchise? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you don't think they're going to do another Predator movie? They they full 150% jump the shark. Oh, shit. Now, I would say this. I don't think this is the end, but I think this is definitely not going to continue with this story. I think what this franchise needs is something along the lines of Predator 2, a vastly different movie from the first one. It really was. You you, you went from the jungle and a, and a squad of superior soldiers to the, the, the city streets, the inner city, to Los Angeles... In the future, quote unquote, 1997. That was so good when they mentioned that. I was like, oh my god, that was the future back then. It is the fucking past now because we are in the fucking future. Dude, you see? That shit fucked my head up. But that's what this franchise needs. It needs a Predator 2. The problem with these movies, since Predators, is that they, they keep trying to go back to what made Predator 1 so special. Stop doing that. Go back to something good. Find something along the lines of Predator 2, which, again, some people don't like Predator 2. I love it. What's special about that movie is it does not go with anything they did in Predator 1. It went a completely opposite direction, and I had so much fun with it. And Danny Glover? Really? Danny Glover? Yes, why not? It works. So that's what I think this franchise needs. Don't be like, oh, we're going to get Arnold Schwarzenegger now? Oh, look, Shane Black. Remember him? He was in the first one. He's coming back. Oh, remember Fred Decker? He also helped him write the first one. He's coming back. He's right. Don't do none of that. Just give it a, a no-name director with a really shoestring budget, enough so that you just get the freaking costume right. One Predator versus one dude. In I don't know where you would put it now. Like, you'll throw him in the desert or something. No, that is... Nothing in the desert. You can't even hide. You'd be dead quick. But do something along those lines. Change it up now. Switch it up. Switch it up. That's the, the only thing I could do. Or you can get fucking crazy and you want to keep doing these Predator versus Predator movies? Give me a Predator versus Predator movie. On their home world, the faction of Civil War, no dialogue, just pure fucking action. And a lot of Sub-Zero head rips. Because I'll tell you right now, when that motherfucking Predator ripped that other Predator's head off, what? like Sub-Zero, woohoo! I threw my Cheetos popcorn. Hey, take it! You got my money. I'm going back. But, anyway, that, that's how I feel. Do you have any rebuttal? Um, I'm just to briefly touch on one point of yours. I, I just kind of bored to death with the whole Civil War of X character kind of thing. Right. Um, you know, we don't we don't need warring factions of predators. We don't need two different types of aliens or xenomorphs fighting each other. We don't need, you know, like a, a big conflict between two different races of engineers and that ties into Alien Covenant and thus the Alien series. And we don't need all that shit. Right. It's dumb. It's played out. Forget about it. Um, but what made Predator 1 and Predator 2 so great was, you know, they were like their. It wasn't really about the predator. It was like its own thing with, like you know, with an addition of an alien hunter. You know, it was Predator One, like a gorilla rescue movie with a predator in it. Huh. Predator Two, lethal weapon with a predator in it. You know, it's. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I keep him around. That was perfect, bro. You were contained about I just now. Like, I really, I'm a little choked up. That was the best thing I've ever heard. Like, that's the best description of those movies. I love you. Yeah. it's. I mean, it, it, and this one was all out about the Predators. And Predator, Predators, rather, was, was about that, too. But I, I also really like that movie. It's not perfect. No. Right. I feel about Predators the way you do about this one. Um. But it, it worked in that context because yeah. it was just going all out and having fun with it. Um, this was like, I feel like this was like trying to reestablish the pr franchise. Um, you can you can tell they kind of were because they're they're doing the thing of um, 
just taking the original title and putting the in front of it. Yeah. Um, or removing the the in in some cases. Um, because that's that's becoming a really popular thing now. You know, once they start moving away from numbers, you know, it's a really bad sign. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you just yeah you you just need you know like you said a low budget um a, a similar kind of story or at least a similar theme of a predator hunting someone one single predator you know no other extra lore building bullshit you can you can build the lore in the background um you know like i thought the them in in the predator um their their version of light speed is just tearing a hole in space and just going through it. That bothered that, me. <laughs> that's cool lore building, I think. Yeah, and uh, I, I was like, really? Oh, okay. I I think that's cool lore building, but they didn't linger on it. They 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 just did it and you know went by. There's no there's no Morpheus in this one talking about how there's two warring tribes of predators and they, you know, come, for whatever reason, they just come to the same game preserve planet. I feel like they probably have several game preserve planets. Like they can, you know, you don't need to fuck with each other. Just, just let each other do your own thing. Just like fuck off. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't, you don't need a predator coming to earth to try to give humanity a gift to fight other predators when we're eventually going to die from global warming anyway in like a couple of years apparently with within our lifetime apparently we're going to die within <laughs> from global warming in this move in this universe um we don't need none of that just throw it in the background and let it be its own thing you know all right same situation different location it's all you got to do all right I, so you're definitely not going to change my mind. I'm definitely not going to change your mind. Let's talk about the ending, and then after that, I want to play a game, all right? Cool with that? Sure. Yeah. So here's the deal. The ending was set up in the beginning of the movie when they look at that, that pod on the ship, right? So I'm going, okay, something's in that pod, right? Okay, what's in that escape pod? We don't know. And then, of course, it gets disappeared, and then the ship crashes, then they find the ship, blah, 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 right? Then the... Then to the movie, they get the pod because apparently the pod jettisoned itself out before the ship exploded. Who knew, right? Um, what did you think was in the pod? Um, well, it was conspicuously human shaped, right? Um, which you know was totally just to get us thinking and speculating. Um, I already was well aware that Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't coming back. Um, he's been pretty vocal about not liking the script for this. I'm really glad he didn't come back. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, cause he's, it, Arnold is better than that. No, I um, agree. I'm, yeah. I'm glad he was. Dutch, Dutch Schaefer, major Dutch, Dutch Schaefer deserves better than that. I agree. Um, even though they just kind of like fucked him in the ass in the comics any, anyway, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Comics was, not so canon. Kinda, Comics not canon. I was I was kind of hoping that um, it might be Danny Glover, and just he'd be in there for some reason. Maybe he found another Predator after Predator Two or something like that, or found another ship. I don't know, something like that. But what I was, what got me thinking, what would be really, really cool. Um, I thought of this after I left the movie and. Uh, what would be really fucking sick is if it was Adrian Brody and he was the Predator Killer. Dude, holy fuck, that's like the third scene, that's what I'm saying, I, like, fucking yes! That's exactly what I was thinking, I was like, it's gotta be Adrian Brody, right? I, my boy was, I said, dude, I was really hoping it was Adrian Brody in there, and he was like, dude, holy shit, so did I, that's fucking crazy! Well, he's, he's killed more Predators than anybody else in, in this universe so far. It's true, and, and not for nothing. It, it would have definitely tied in Predator, uh, Predators because they mentioned Predator 1, they mentioned Predator 2. That would have been a perfect way to tie in Predators. That's mm -hmm. what I, my fingers were crossed. But go ahead, man. What did we get? <laughs> um, we got some Black Ooze, which gave me flashbacks to Alien Covenant, and did, I wasn't happy about that. Did, uh, did you know what? When that thing came out, 
it kind of looked like a Promethean ship too. And it was yeah, covered in black goo. And I was like, oh shit. Dog, I got nervous. Don't, don't do it. Don't set up another Aliens versus Predator movie, please. Um, and then out this out comes this drone looking motherfucker. It's it's a drone. It's literally a drone. It's a drone, but uh, they look like a Promethean ship. Um and then it just like attaches itself to this random scientist, which it, <laughs> I, I wish it was Jake Busey. Like he didn't die. He didn't he die. Should've, he should have been in the movie more. You know he what? He should have been in the movie more to connect it more so to Predator 2. I wish it was atta- I, I wish it attached to Olivia Munn, actually. Or or Olivia Munn, yeah. But I, I just I like Jake Busey as a person more than I like Olivia Munn. I ain't mad at you. Uh, but no, it's just some random dude. And then then comes this Predator mech suit complete with mech dreadlocks. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then <laughs> that shit was fucking nuts. <laughs> and and oh then God. McKenna's like, "That's my new suit," and then it's fucking over, dude. <laughs> I can't even lie, man. I looked my brother right in the face when that happened. And I don't know if my brother liked it. I'll be honest with you. I think he said he liked it just because he saw I was having, like, so much fun with it. Um, So it, I got to talk to him about it again because he was kind of like, I don't know, man. He, he, I remember one thing he said. He said, yo, you really like this better than a- AVP? And I was like, I don't know why you like AVP. AVP sucks. Um, But... I looked at my brother when that happened right in his face, and he had this, like, perplexed look, and I was just like, fuck it, why not? And I was dying after that. I was like, yes, fuck it, why not? Dude, first of all, okay, so Adrian Brody was top of my list, right? I was like, please let it be Adrian Brody. That would be fucking dope to tie all three movies in, and then it would work. It would work. Then I was thinking, okay, if it's not Adrian Brody, it's... Even though I know Arnold Schwarzenegger said what he said, maybe they make it, you know, he does a cameo, try to keep it on the wraps. I don't know. Just like a two second scene with him. But then I was like, nah, it's probably impossible. Then I was thinking Xenomorph. I was like, oh, it's going to be an egg or something. It's going to be an alien egg. It's going to come out. I don't know. Then my mind really started going places, right? Then I was like, nah, son. It's going to be a fucking Terminator. Then I was like, nah, fuck. I was thinking that too. Yeah, then I was like, nah, son. They're going to fuck everybody up. It's going to be RoboCop. <laughs> that's because that's where this movie had me by this place. The end of the fucking movie. And the movie was already bad shit crazy. And I felt like I was a part of the loonies. That's why I was like, RoboCop is coming out of this shit. Dude, that was or so great. Judge Dredd. Or Judge Dredd. Yo, why the fuck not, right? Which, whoever had a Dark Horse crossover with the Predator was coming out. Batman could have came out the motherfucker. I was ready. I was ready, dude. I was like, it doesn't matter anymore. But then we did kind of get like the uh, Iron Man Predator suit thing. And I, look, <laughs> that shit was stupid as fuck. But man, I couldn't stop. I said, "Yo, yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, why not?" I tell you, in in a in a in a movie season full of disappointments, right? I'm looking at you, Last Jedi. I'm looking at you, Solo. I <laughs> it's, this movie was just dumb. And I don't remember if there was any kind of dumb movie last year that we were like, oh, man, this movie is so bad, but it's so good, like we did with uh, Independence Day Resurgence. But this right here was it. At, at first, I was like, maybe I'm going to give that that nod to Rampage. But no, no, this takes the cake. This takes the cake for me. I know you I know you don't like it. You probably downright hate it. But this takes the cake for me. Oh, um, but yeah, dude. The Armor Predator. That shit don't even look like it. it, it I, I, you know what? It don't look like it'll kill the Predator. I, it, it's That's the Predator killer? After all of that, it should have been Adrian Brody. It really should have been. It would have been so simple. Like, yeah, well, you know what? This is the dude, and we got to respect it. I'm not ripping his head off. He killed three of us already. Like, nah, yeah, you can have him. Have him back. Help humanity. It would have been great. It would have been great. But, um... All right, so let's give it let's give it a score real quick, and then I'm gonna play this game. Um, on a scale of one 
two, three, four. On a scale of one to five, this being the sixth movie, out of all of them in the franchise, where do you place this particular movie? And, and I'm counting the AVP movies. Um, I'm going to give it a four out of ten. Um, and probably second to last, just above Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Damn. Damn. Man, you really don't like Requiem? I mean, it's hard to see. I get it, but it's so much better than that first one. No, it's a, it's a shit movie. Oh, it's God. it. Um, I mean, it's a more violent movie. Yeah, and that's what I like. That makes it kind of more enjoyable to watch, but you can't fucking see what's happening. That is true. And it's like it's a very nihilistic movie. But if you already want to watch a a nihilistic Predator movie, just watch Predator Two. It's a good movie, and it's like really dark and overly violent. He's not lying. So I'm gonna go out and say. It's better than both ADP movies because I can't stand them. I, even though I do like ADPR better, I can't stand those movies. And it is number four on my list. It goes Predator, Predator Two, Predators, The Predator. That's my that's my order. I had a lot of fun with this movie. Y'all all heard it already. The spiel. I had a shit ton of fun. And uh, do I want this franchise to keep going? Absolutely. How are they gonna do it? I don't know, but here's the game we're gonna play right now. Make the pitch me your new Predator movie. That's that's the name of the game right now. So Matt, let's do this, alright? You have control of the franchise. Pitch me your Predator movie, and then I'll pitch you mine. Um either Predator in Um Like feudal China, Ooh. um, got to appeal to that Chinese market. Oh yeah, because this movie because that movie would make no money, uh, stateside anyway. <laughs> um, or Predator in World War Two. Oh, fuck you! Gotta be fucking kidding me! Is that what you were gonna say? Yes, you mom. How the hell? World War One, because World War Two is kind of played out. Oh, man, that is some bullshit, son. That's exactly what I was going to say. God damn. Actually, no. Predator in Vietnam would be pretty cool, even though that'd be basically just the original Predator. Exactly. We go back to basics. Damn, man. Yeah, I, shit. Yeah, I was totally going Predator in World War II with the Foo Fighters and all of that stuff. You could tie that all in together. They kept seeing these things. Man, are you kidding me? And at the end, I swear to God. I'd have the Predator kill Adolf Hitler. That would be it. That would be my nod to Shane Black. Bad shit crazy. Or, I don't know, I feel like somebody going to space and like some kind of, like, or, you know, Predator on a space station. No, listen. Cool. We, listen, we know from the past that whenever you take a franchise into space, shit don't work out well, okay? And, and, it, and you can say what you want about really Jason happen. X, but... Uh, Okay, so the thing about that is, you know, Pinhead is a demon. Doesn't really make sense for him to be in space. Uh, Leprechaun is a little person. Doesn't really make sense for him to be in space. Jason is a, a you know deformed dude in a hockey mask. Doesn't really make sense for him to be in space. Predator is a fucking alien. <laughs> kind of makes sense for him to be in space. You know what? I, I can see to that. I can see to that. But you know what? You do it, right? Like, you, did you see um, Valerian? No. Okay, well, it's a good movie. I enjoyed Valerian. But if you watch Valerian, the, the beginning of Valerian, like the first five minutes of that movie, it's basically humanity going into space and shows like through the decades or every couple of years or whatever it is, how they you know, built the space station from the I the ISS to, like, the gigantic conglomerate where, where, like, when they first met aliens and just, like, this humongous space station. That would be cool. A Predator movie in space, on a space station, but in the future. Like, like, Predator versus Starfleet. Like, some stupid shit like that. You know? Where it's in the future. and then But then again, it, it, it goes, kind of goes back to... Space Marines and shit. For that, you get Ripley and, and the Alien. It, it, ah, let me stop. Let me stop there. I'm just mad you took my damn World War II thing, man. Fuck. Even 
even then, I don't think it would be that good. Well, World War II? No, because, uh, in, no Predator, uh, Predator in World War II. Why not? Um, just because I'm the whole World War II thing has kind of been done to death. We're already getting, you know, zombies and monsters in World War II. I We've already had I can't know, wait for that. tons of Nazi zombies and... Maybe if it was, you know, focusing on the more, like, Pacific theater, you know, take it away, take away, you know, Ger- Germany and not Nazis, but let's, you know, have it fighting the Japanese and stuff. Or that would, or in Italy, you know. I'm, oh, I see what you're saying. I guess the Nazi aspect is just kind of played out. Do, do some shit like Predator versus Dunkirk or something. Yeah. I, I, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Not for nothing. That that's a visually that's actually pretty cool because you go uh, and, and my history here is bad, especially when it comes to like the cities. Where you take like a bombed out city, something like Saving Private Ryan, when they're walking through like decimated cities, and have the predator like roaming that, you know, like in these just hollowed out buildings, blown up, burnt out, and then make that the theater of war. With the Predator and, and whatever squad. I totally buy into that. I, I honestly. What I would do. If I was in charge of the franchise. The movie is called Predator 3. That's it. It's called Predator 3. I'm bringing the numbers back. And I'm going to make it a period piece. I love what you said with Feudal China. Because I was thinking Feudal Japan. Fuck. Bring it back to like the Knights of the Round Table. You know. Give me some medieval times. Because my question is. Like, this is how I would pitch it. My question would be, would the Predator use their technology to fight something like, you know, a, 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 a medieval knight? Or would it just go and use, like, their version of that? So we're playing with swords and shields. Instead of having, like, a, I don't know, like an electromagnet shield, would the Predator use, like, a straight-up blunt instrument type of shield? To fight this thing. Or I don't think a predator would need a shield. To be honest with you. That's not their MO. But it wouldn't use any laser cannons. Anything like that. It would just straight up fight these dudes hand to hand. That's how I would pitch this movie. Because that's what I would like to see. Would the predator mimic the technology of the time on earth? So I, like, I, would, I would honestly love to see. Because there was a movie that came out a while back. And I forget the name of the movie, but basically it was like an alien crash landed in like Viking country. And then it was like a bounty hunter there with him that, that came looking for the alien. And it was just like a, just a crazy movie. It was like good. I don't know if you, if, if you know what I'm talking about. It came no out, idea. you know, idea. Nope. It came out, it came out shit. Like I want to say maybe 10 years ago, maybe close to 10 years ago. But it was definitely before I moved out to Vegas. Because I remember seeing that in New York. And, uh, dude, it was just... It was like this cool thing where it was like... There's this alien creature that kind of reminded me of the, the creature from the Relic. And it was running around killing Vikings. You know? And the Vikings had to stop it. And and it was like a dude, like a, a, a bounty hunter, a space guy. You know? Like, okay, I, got, I all my shit is gone. I gotta use the tools available to me. Here. And I enjoyed the shit out of that movie, man. I thought that was really good. And I would love to see the Predator. Fuck it. Predator with the Vikings. Predator 3 with Vikings. I would love to see that. I'd also really like to see um, uh, an adaption of um, one of Dark Horse's best Predator series. is about um, Dutch's brother, who's a cop in New York. And it's kind of talking about there's, you know, a, a predator invasion. He, like, kills one of them, and he takes the mask, and or he, he fights one of them, he, he gets the mask, and he looks through the mask, and he looks up in the New, New York skyline, and there's just predator ships all over, um, just invisible. And then he has to, you know, he kicks and kicks a mask, and he gets involved with uh, some secret government agency, and he's trying to figure out what happened to his brother, and, you know, that leads them into I think like Iceland or something or there's a down predator ship and there's you know just it, it was a good fucking series 
Was that he, like... he never got a proper ending because he'd never find out what happens to Dush. Right. But it was so really cool. There's a book. Um, I don't know if you know this. There's a book out. And I forgot the name of the book, but it's basically like tales from the like of predators, and like it, it gives you like what happened to Danny Glover's character afterwards. Like there's they're like little stories, little like vignettes almost. And and I want to actually buy it. I, I forgot what the hell it was called. It was a cool name. It was a cool name. Um, and I don't think it's that. Ex- I don't think it's expensive at all. You could probably pick it up on Amazon. Get it on the Kindle for like five dollars maybe. But I don't know if they they give Dutch an ending, a proper ending there. But I know that they do something for Danny Glover. He's like at a convention in like Costa Rica or something. And a predator comes for like a gang war, like a cartel or some shit. And Danny Glover, you know, he, he goes into action. He's like, shit, here we go. But, um, so I'm cool with that. But uh, anyway, listen, you hated the movie. I loved the movie. I thought it was hysterical fun. You thought it was insanely dumb. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Uh, what do you think this is going to do? Is the, It beat the nun. It's taking first spot in the box office this weekend. But do you see it having legs? Um, no, because as we've been talking, I, I checked the current box office report. No, I mean, it's only Saturday afternoon, so it's got time, but it's only made like $10 million so far on an $88 million budget. It's not doing super great. Shit. $88 million. That's actually the shoestring budget. I mean, yeah, you know, ugh. That's a decent-sized budget. That's a decent-sized budget. That's enough to take a gamble on. Yeah, you're right. Give me $50 million. I'll make you a Predator movie. Yeah. I'll make you a good Predator. Again, you know, I'm, t- I'm sticking to my guns. Predator 3, Medieval Times, or Vikings. One of the two. One of the two. And, uh... Or World War Two. Because, I mean, fuck, I, I would love to see it. But, uh, anyway. Listen, brother... We, we that's it man we we gonna wrap this up right here thank you for joining yeah thanks for having me absolutely and uh thank y'all for listening in to our ramblings and craziness uh we will try to be back soon trust me we will but uh that'll do it for this review of the predator shane black's 2018 awesome movie i don't care what man says i don't care what the critics say the movie is but bad shit crazy img1 this is the g show thanks for listening peace